What is going on guys, today's video we are going to have a look at this pool player Mohamed Sofi. For all of you guys who don't know who this pool player is, let me just tell you real quick who this guy is. Mohamed Sofi is a professional pool player, he was born in Egypt, he is 29 years old and in the World Pool Championship 2023 this year by the way, he got one of the best performance in his entire career, getting second place, he made $30,000 after losing to Francisco Sanchez Ruiz from Spain. Anyways, I personally consider this guy the fastest pool player taking decisions at the table and his gameplay is awesome. I love seeing this guy playing honestly. With that said, I just wanna leave you guys with these highlights. I hope you enjoyed them. Maybe I'll use it being one. The one thing that I like Maybe not pull the trigger so quickly for some, but he really goes with what he sees, and uh, that's a big part of winning. So Ocean made an interesting call on the push out. It looked like it was going to result in him taking the opening rack. Got himself in a tangle on the seven, and instead it's Sufi who leads 1 0. Worked so hard at the game, keeps himself fit. Just the all-round professional and he expects when he puts in all that work and he's going to get the results consistently Let's see if he works the cue ball around these balls or if he keeps it real simple I like this shot Yeah, we're starting to have the feel of one of those where the favourite gets a few in front and then just disappears over the hill, but very different feel to it now. And for the first time in the match, she's won two. He's banking it. This is a similar shot to the 80 at earlier, cueing funny, a hair off angle, and he's got to draw the ball. Loosening up a little bit. Very much so. In snooker, we call that a double, a bank shot, but if it goes in that way, then that's called a treble. So what do you call it then in pool? We have bank, so what's... A double bank. A double bank. Yeah. Okay. Twice, you yeah. know, it's... Like if you're going to announce it like playing bank pool, say twice in the corner or something like that but really a nine ball the main thing we call that three in the side don't get too heavy on it where you have to put some speed the ball in hand was huge here for Sufi because he can play an easy shot from the five to the six You know, we were talking about the big question being of asked of Sufi with that push-out call in the opening rack and Ocean, I guess, looking to exploit Sufi's inexperience in this sort of situation. But, yeah, there have been one or two bad misses, but overall he hasn't looked uncomfortable at all playing on the big stage in the World Quarter Final. No, I think he's just trying to do the same things he's been doing the entire event, knocking the shots he's supposed to, take a few chances at times stay aggressive and he definitely looks like a player who still believes he can quite definitely win this match yeah what kind of kiss is he going to get on the nine it's okay i think neil's fan may have gotten a, a little warning on him sportsmanlike here a moment ago he banged the table and the referee had when had a little talk with him after missing the five ball Flat angle here, so pay attention. Easy to bobble this coming over. Yeah, he didn't get there. And that's
that's just from the shot prior. Just getting a hair more angle makes the shot so much easier. And again, I think he probably gathered that, but when you cue so fast, your cue ball is just never going to be as good. So he needs something good here. He went for the double. The double. Is he going to slide? Oh, well. But Not sure any ball in this championship has traveled as far as that eight ball did there, but what's he got left on the nine? Uh, he's going here, and it won't be slow rolled. Did slow roll it. That's surprising. Dangerous. Yeah, that was dangerous. Is he gonna fluke it? Oh, not another one. Ball. Not another one. Collision on the eight nine here. I don't know if I try to play position here. I may come into these off of four cushions. Oh, looks like his speed is going to be too much. That's why I would have went ahead and went into him instead of trying to guide into that short, short position, especially because it laid natural to do so. Have to go across the table here, yeah. And then you need to do it with some speed. Just a nice high ball. Oh, another one. Another oh, you're one. kidding me. Another you're one. You're kidding me. an easy one, especially as a big favorite. He's got to settle himself here. I'd like to see him kind of medium roll this, not really attack too much. <laughs> He's attacking. And Mohamed Sufi has now won. I want to see a player get a chance to fight for their tournament life. But you just kind of wonder, you know, what's the reaction going to be? And here you go. It's in his hands again. Everything else really sets up to play very well. I uh, he may have overcooked this a little bit. So he's going to have to make one heck of a shot here on the three to the upper right. And this will tell the story. Hit it. He made it. Yeah, I think we're going to lose another world champion here. With consecutive break and runs, Alvin Ocean completed his march from 2-2 two -two to 6-2. He later had another break and run to lead 8-5. Yeah, if he gains that little small angle here, everything very easy. And I'll tell you, after beating Bar Barkowski, I thought he gained some respect from the Polish crowd, and we're going to hear a big cheer, and deservedly so. It's another massive moment in this wonderful championship because with a run of half a dozen rats in a row, Mohamed Sufi of Syria has beaten the two-time champion Alvin Ocean 11-8 and he is through to tomorrow's semi-finals where he will play Wu Kun Lin for a place in the biggest match of them all. Twenty-nine years of age, Sufi. He's been living in Dortmund, Germany for six years. This is a bolt from the blue. When you interview players, they always say, it's all about me, how I play. But it isn't. It's about how the other guy plays. And if they play badly, more than likely you win. And so far, this has been a bad performance from Wu. Yeah, especially with two ball in hands. I mean, the percentage of the players, you know, especially with them open, getting out with ball in hand. But, you know, I think, uh, oh, ooh, okay. So little things we see so far are going Sufi's way and not really fortune necessarily, just uh, Wu not capitalizing. How about this? He's not playing flawlessly. But the score is flawless. He couldn't be doing all kinds of stories. He gets action on the nine. We talked about it. And there you go, Phil. Well, from the time the tip of the cue 
hit the white ball. I think that rack lasted about 1.7 seconds. That's right. Maybe less than that. This is fairy tale stuff. Look at the golden break here. Well, the cue ball yeah. chipping it in. Yeah, that's the most common one coming across. That's why we get some brutal scratches off that nine. But it's a it's a win or lose kind of situation. It's hard to get any much in or about the rack with this guy at the table. I'll tell you, plays so fast, but he thinks very well at that pace is also. His approach is almost revolutionary. Couldn't agree more, Phil. One minute and 30 seconds at that rack. Pedestrian by Mohamed Sufi's standards. The four rack lead of the Syrian is re established. Cue ball went a little bit left. Oh, what a moment. Ooh, position could have been a little better here. Yate being there, he's got to commit. He's okay. Told you. Squeezed it home. He'll shoot the nine ball like that as well. He's knocked in many of them. Spread the cue ball for the seven in the side. He's going to have to take a little longer shot on the eight, but nothing major. Just a stop shot here on the eight. Most likely. I don't think any reason to draw the cue ball. You just saw your opponent miss cue. You got a nice shot. I came back anyways. Surprising. Mohammed's. The match itself maybe not meant to be. When he pulled off a three ball carom to beat Mika Imminent in the last 32. He let out a huge shout that was heard all around this vast auditorium. What will be the celebration this time if these three balls find their target? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sure he's smiling because he's gonna make this final. Don't see him missing this, coming across for the nine in the side. And now on the 50 feel, it's a little surprising, but should be okay. It's there, the dream remains alive. One more hurdle to clear. Mohammed Sufi has come from nowhere. And now he's won a victory away from being crowned world nine ball champion. Stories like this in sport are very rarely written. It is fairy tale time here in Kielsa. He can't quite believe it. Neither can I, neither can Jeremy. Yeah, unbelievable. You make it, you're running the cue ball quite a ways away from the five. Oh, he just went for it. But he is a really good striker. You can hear it when the tip hits the cue ball. All the shots and the boldness to take them on. Needs another good one here, though. And he's there. Sufi's on fire. A couple of good shots there to stay in this rack. Really nice. Just got to make sure he doesn't overlook anything here. He's just playing the game. This really is Sufi pulling and I'm all for Sufi playing his game and playing quick, but experience, I don't know, maybe the, the older man in me now, you just you feel like saying, just slow down a little bit. Don't do anything silly. Yeah, and I, I, I really think it's been a couple just uh, when he got down to pull the trigger. You know, he doesn't take a long time down, of course. So... He's quick anyways, right? You can't get a whole lot quicker from there, really, as kind of what Phil was alluding to also.
like on that 3-9. I forgot about the 3-9. That was also a big moment. He's had chances in this final. He could have been in front by a few racks, but he's still there. And it's like this position here. Yeah, the cue ball's just come okay, but everything just seems a little on the scary side. Well, he started off playing snooker at nine years old. Uh, that's why, of course, the snooker play table's being a little taller, I believe, as a whole, especially back then. That's why we see the sidearm. That was a nice play, so the crutch, not a problem. Boy, he doesn't slow roll them. He doesn't slow roll them nines. They're scary when you thump. Dragging him behind the nine, or would you chop the eight and go two? I like dragging him behind the nine myself. I get a better feel for it when the eight's that high. Now, if the eight wasn't so close to the rail, I feel better about chopping. He may shoot. Hello. Hello. He's the cue ball to keep going. He needs to keep going. Stun twice back and forth. Oh, wow, how'd he hit it? How'd he hit it? It's a fantastic shot. He's got the shots. Maybe he's a little loose with the cue ball, but this is the, the game he brings. This is why the crowd are enjoying watching him. Yeah, this is going to get awkward again. He needs to take just a hair of time to go look at the six to the pocket. I love it right there exactly what he needs at least in my opinion and it's not so much you know going to look at the six behind the hole it's that little time that that, that took uh, from him getting down on the ball a little extra fast I thought he would have come down the other rail there. yeah most would instead of coming across the line big shot Just not quite hitting the pocket in the middle, so the cue ball is a little off. Oh wow! Very hard to make this. It's got to be a smooth hit on the on the seven. What a shot! What a shot! Back against the wall. well and that's uh, watch out cross corner cue ball upper right three tremendous spots and with inside english okay funny little shot here go one rail yeah i like that i like that keep it simple rely on your touch you never know you know if he has the opportunity and gets the break going like Ruiz it's just a matter of who's going to get it done this is what he can do though he can rattle off a rack in less than a minute Phil certain racks with him take less time than it does to re-rack the balls and put them back on the table. He's back in the match. Make no mistake. Mohamed Sufi. He's still embracing this. He's still...